we're going to talk a little bit more about blocking, specifically using blocking wires. This question comes up all the time. And this video is sponsored by Knitter's Pride because in addition to using blocking wires, I'm going to be using their knit blockers, which are uh, a different, well, they're kind of necessary in this scarf that I'm going to block out. And so I'm going to show you how to use these. They are a great product. I use them all the time. Um, but we'll get back to those. But many thanks to Knitter's Pride for sponsoring this video. If you've never used blocking wires, they are wires. And you string them through the knitting that you've done so that you can use fewer pins when you, for instance, block out lace. Now first let's talk about when you need them. If you're blocking just a cardigan or something that doesn't have any lace in it, you're probably not going to need blocking wires. I know people who use them all the time, they like really straight edges, they, uh, you know, they want everything pinned out just right. I usually just set things out to dry, you know, just pat them out to dry and if I have, you know, cardigan corners, I'll sometimes pin the corners square. Um, I only use blocking wires if I'm blocking out lace. That's, I think that's really the only time they're necessary, but you might find other times that they, that they work. Um, it's really, of course it's up to you, but I'm going to show you how to do it with lace where I think it makes the most sense. And I have these blocking wires here. I have, um, I've never found blocking wires to be like, these are the best blocking wires or these are the worst blocking wires. They're just wires and eventually they, they get kind of bendy and worn out and you get some new ones. If someone, <laughs> if someone, uh, has used blocking wires that made a major difference in, in their lives, like there was something really great or really bad about them, be sure to comment and let me know because to me they're just wires. Um, I'm using a finer gauge wire here than I had out before. It's probably hard to see on camera um, just because this one's really flexible and I want to show you uh, how I'm going to use this. So I have my knit blockers, my pins, and I have this scarf here. This scarf has a lace edge and a flat edge, which makes it uh, necessary for me to bring in the Knitter's Pride knit blockers here too. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, first let's talk about the lace edge. And uh, the reason we're using blocking wires is so that we can really pull this lace apart. This has actually already been blocked. Uh, you can see that it's pretty flat looking, but lace is always really crumbled up and kind of terrible until you pull it apart and block it. And the blocking wires make that really easy. And so as we look at this lace pattern, this is um, Charbella Shawl. I have a tutorial on this and I'll give you a link to that right here. Um, but in this lace, we have these points that we want to exaggerate. And that's where I'm going to bring in the blocking wire. I'm just going to grab, go under, just that area that I want to pull out and exaggerate. And it works out really well because I have a nice yarn over to work with right there. But, or, but you can just poke it through stitches. That's fine if it's a fine gauge. Now, because I've got this, this wire in here, I hardly need any pins. Just a couple of pins will take care of, of pulling this out. And if I'm blocking and I, uh, I realize, oh no, I'm out of blocking board, I need to scoot everything down five inches. I only have to take out three pins to scoot it down five inches and put three pins back in. So it does, it does save some time, it does make it easy, and, and you know that you're always getting a, um, some uniformity in, in uh, the, the points that you're pulling out, because it's always possible without them to pull one point out really far and then the next one not as far. It's always uniform. And you let it dry like that, and then once it's dry, you remove your pins and you can slide out the blocking wires and reuse them. Okay, and then for the knit blockers, I have this flat edge here in this scarf. There's nothing to pull out. I don't need to use the, the um, blocking wires for any reason, but I have these knit blockers that will... Uh, keep there from being scallops in my work. I wanted scallops in the lace edge. I don't want any scallops in this edge. And if you use just pins, you can get 
kind of a scallopy thing. This has already been blocked. It's not going to show. Let me see if I can exaggerate it. If you use just pins and you're stretching lace, you can get something scallopy on the other edge, which is not what we want, which is why these come in handy because they poke through so much work. Um, I can actually stretch that out a bit. They poke through so much more of the work and it's not one pinpoint that's holding um, the lace stretch. And then you can even do more with these really long ones and have it be even less of a chance of, of scalloping with these really long ones. But here's the kit. You end up with uh, enough of these to work even a big project. And uh, I will give you a link to where you can find these knit blockers. They've been revolutionary in my life. Just visit the video description field below, or if you go to my website, you can also find out where to get these knit blockers. These are handy for almost every project. The blocking wires, of course, are really just handy for, for lace, in my opinion. And I'm sure someone's going to ask about the blocking wires that I used. These um, are something that I've had for a while. I believe I ordered them off Amazon. There's nothing really... Um, I mean, normally in my videos, I'll say, knit blockers are great, they're by Knitter's Pride, definitely you want to get some of those. Blocking wires, I'm not sure that really there's one brand that's going to be better than another. They're just wires and they have some flexibility to them. That's really it. So I don't think you can go wrong um, as long as you buy from a trusted retailer. Anyway, I hope that helps answer some questions about using blocking wires. Good luck.